prior to their win and in game versus the Cards, many thought the deck was stacked against the Rams and their backup quarterback, John Wolford. Wolford just an amazing story. Came out of Wake Forest, draft class of 2018. Nope, he wasn't drafted. There were 13 quarterbacks who were selected. He wasn't one of them. Worked a little bit in the investment banking world. His first pass did little to change their minds. Wolford alone in the gun. Has it, throws, is picked at the 20. His first NFL toss is intercepted. Yeah! Oh, put it away! Yeah, oh. Wolford's mistake put Arizona in position to take an early lead. But they would have to do so without their starting quarterback, who was injured on the game's first series. It is Chris Strebler, the rookie out of South Dakota from CFL fame. Oh, this is unbelievable. Backup quarterbacks with a playoff berth on the line. Running left to the five, breaks a tackle, hits the goal line, touchdown! How about that? Hey, no, you need hey it. it's your team. Take yeah. over. Let's go. Be yourself. Backup quarterbacks are a defensive back's dream. Hey, well, I'm going to escape next time. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm going to go. You can go get that show peak, peak six. And just before halftime, Chris Strebler provided the game's turning point. I'll tell you what, if you get a touchdown, that might be enough to win the game with a backup quarterback for the Rams. It is intercepted. Troy Hill, the 20, down the left sideline. He hits midfield and cuts to his right. Into space, Troy Hill at the 20. Troy Hill at the 10, stumbling to pay dirt. A pick six to end the half. You know, the Cardinals thought they caught the Rams off sides here, and that's why their quarterback threw it up. But Troy Hill with a little tip pass to himself, and then all the blockers, that's what you love to see, guys out front blocking. Great read here by Troy Hill, cutting the ball back. That hard count, thought we got him to jump. That's, that's how we coach it. You know, snap the ball if we think they jump. Thought we had a free play. Try to put the ball in play, give him a chance, and uh, just didn't get the call on that. What a terrific mistake by Revler. You know, this isn't the Grey Cup. This isn't the CFL. You can't just take chances and throw the ball down the middle of the field. And you can see right here, there is just, there's no reason to throw the ball there. And if you're going to win, you're going to need turnovers. And finally, this Rams defense gets a turnover. You know, they haven't gotten turnovers. That's too late. They can't sleep no more. Hey. The Rams defense finished number one in both points against and yards allowed in 2020 and have become the backbone of Sean McVay's team. Chris Strebler throws a pick six just as you're going in to get points at the end of the half. Can't be careless with the football, reckless with the football, especially when you had great field position and you were moving within at least the field goal attempt situation for the Cardinals. I just can't say enough about the defense, uh, the way that they played, you know, to be able to come away with a safety, a scored touchdown that gave us the lead. They were unbelievable all day. They've been unbelievable all year. They've really been the strength of this team. When your defense dominates, it takes the pressure off your quarterback. But Wolford, who was starting for the injured Jared Goff, did his fair share of the heavy lifting. Wolford became the first player in NFL history with at least 200 yards passing and 50 yards rushing in his NFL debut. John Wolford already has more rushing yards than any quarterback in the McVay era. And a dot from the Wolfman. Once I came out after that pick, I, st I felt good. You know, I told him on the side, hey, I'm good, don't worry about me. You know, it almost like settled me in in a weird way. I had a lot of fun. A little anxious going in, if I'm being 100% honest. And once I got rolling, I was just playing football again. I thought after the first play, you know, the first throw of the game, I thought John Wofford was the star offensively. This guy's resilience showed up in a big way. I was really impressed with him. This wasn't the first time McVeigh has been impressed. Here comes Mamba. Zero. God, this guy got out of it. Over the summer, Wolford was the star of the team's scrimmage. How about Doug Flutie? Seen in this hard knocks footage that was left on the cutting room floor. Dude, Wofford is balling, bro. John Wofford, wow. That's impressive. I 
Unbelievable play by Wofford. It's a little Doug Flutie. <laughs> what? Let's go, baby! Was the celebration or the congratulations any different today than it would be for any other game? Um, well, I've never won a game, so I don't know what the normal <laughs> congratulations feels like. So that's my first one, and I'll use that as a barometer and let you know if it changes.